I'm Cher Lloyd, I just want to say thank you to Romeo for having me and I'm going to get on with the first question. The first one is from Maria from New York City and she asks me, what is the coolest thing you've done in America so far? Okay, the coolest thing that I've done so far is I played at South By, which was a major thing. Um, and we did three gigs and it went extremely well, except for one of them, where the sound system like messed up completely. But it was okay because that stuff happens when you sing in live. Okay, next one. Ooh. I can't pronounce some of these names. Do your best. Alright. I'm going to try and pronounce it with my strange British accent. Ashley from Om Omaha. Om Omaha. Nebraska. Nebraska. Yeah. Who were your biggest influences in the music industry? Um, I have many influences, whether they be artists or people that actually work within the music industry. I have a lot of respect for producers because producers actually make a song like a hit. Do you know what I mean? Like they can take your usual song that doesn't sound like pumped up enough, take it and put it on a higher level. So I big up producers everywhere. Okay. Alright, Katie from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She says, what was the first album you ever bought? And I can tell you the first album that I ever bought was The Venga Boys. And that was a while ago. And I really loved it. And now I don't have that album anymore and I'm really upset about it. But I will download it because Katie from Philadelphia has just reminded me that I need to go and get that again. Um, is it Cassia or Casia? I do both. Cassia, Casia. Whether that be your name. From Edison. She or he has asked me, of everything you've accomplished, what makes you most proud? Um, my proudest moment was getting my record deal for America because I really wanted to get out to the States and show the people of America that I have something. Like, I am ready to do this. So to get the deal was really, really good because that means I could go forward. Without the deal, maybe not. So I'm really, really proud of that. Okay. Danica from Jackson, Mississippi says, Who's the most famous person in your cell phone? The most famous person... I would say is L.A. Reid because I now work with L.A. He is the guy that did give me my deal for America and um, we're good friends. We work very closely. I love him. Rebecca from Northampton. Northampton? Where is that? Is that in the UK? There's one in America too. Wow. <laughs> what would you be doing if you weren't singing? Well, here's the thing. I couldn't get into college, which is a shame. And I didn't have any qualifications. I tried to get a job. <laughs> I couldn't get a job. So I do not want to think about what I would be doing if I didn't sing. Because I, I'd probably cry about it. But it wouldn't be, do like, I don't know. I don't want to think about it. That's really bad. <laughs> All right. Who would it be? Um. All right. I'm gonna answer this one because I, I think I've got an answer for it, but I might not. 
Mary from New York says, what is your all-time favourite clothing brand? I don't have a favourite, but I feel like it doesn't matter about the brand. As long as it looks hot, you wear it. Don't worry about the brand. Okay. Amanda from Roseville. I don't know whether I said it right, but I hope I did. She says, how has your life changed since the X Factor? Well, here's the thing. It has changed dramatically. I think everything has changed, but not me. I did not change. I am still the same weird, strange girl from a while ago. Um, but it is, gave me many opportunities and it gave me a platform as well. So now I'm able to do the thing that I love the most. I get to be on stage and, and sing everywhere and do fun things. Um, okay. Courtney from Crawley asks me, are you going to do any rap songs like you did on X Factor? Yes, I need to get into the studio again because I feel like we all need to hear a new song. Something a bit faster, a bit more urban. So yes, I really do want to do that. Um... Okay, I think it's Aidan, Aidan or Aiden from England, he asks me, if you could go back in time and talk to yourself as a kid, what advice would you give yourself? I would give myself absolutely no advice, because I think... Do you know what? It has actually worked out quite well for me, I'm not going to lie. Um, and I did misbehave as a child, but I think that's what makes me as a person. That gives me at least this much more personality. Um, Jessica from Roanoke. Roanoke, Virginia. Roanoke, Virginia. She says, who's your all-time favourite band? I don't really like bands. I don't really have an all-time favourite band. I don't. I don't have one. I, I like, I like, um, I like country music. I like music from today, you know, on the radio, but I'm not too keen on bands. Um... from Milton Keynes has asked me what's the story behind the new tattoo on your wrist well that would just be telling wouldn't it I'd just give my whole story away there but um I think it's cool a couple of other people have got it as well so if you see the other people that have got it you'll understand why we have it I mean it's suits from cards so kind of gives it away a little bit um, Nicole from Wantage? Wantok? Wantok. 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 Where did the H come from? Talk. Talk. The H. It's silent. Wantok. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. If I would have known it was silent, I would have done the silent, but I didn't know. <laughs> it's, it's in New York. It's on Long Island. Oh, right. Okay. Nicole says, anyway, where do you see yourself in three years from now? I have no clue. And if I did, then it would make everybody's life a lot easier. <laughs> Come on. It would. But I hope it's in a good place. Because if it's not, then, I don't know, that would not be good. But hopefully it's in a good place. Um, Dylan from Bray. Bray. 
He asks, what's your favourite part about having fame and your least favourite? Um, I'd like to say the favourite part about my career, it's not about the fame for me. I get to go on stage all the time and sing, because that's what I love to do. But my least favourite part about it, it's like the long hours, when you start getting delirious, do you know what I mean? And it's like, oh, what am I doing? But that's all part of it. That's why I do what I do. I never stop. <laughs> yeah, manager. You should go away. You should put him in I never the stop. He never lets me stop. Um. Okay. Amelia from Ocala? Ocala. 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 Florida. Florida. Ocala. All right. She says, what are some tips you have for aspiring singers? I think my number one tip would be do what you want to do. And if someone tells you not to do it, still do it. Don't let anyone boss you around. Because then you'll just be looking back on your life in 10 years time thinking, I should have done what I wanted to do. But instead, I listened to that guy or that girl. And now, you know. Yeah, so just do what you want to do. Yeah. And sing all the time. Like, even if you're walking down the street, just sing. Because you never know. You could bump into someone and they be the biggest person in music ever. I don't know. Sometimes that does happen. So just take a chance. Wherever you are, do it. Um, um, Alright. Leone from Manchester says, What is your favourite place to perform? I don't have a favourite. If there's a stage, that is my favourite place to perform. Doesn't matter where it is in the world, I will still be there with a massive smile on my face and hopefully screaming people. Because that always helps a lot when you have screaming people. But yeah, anywhere is my favourite. Um, should we do one more? Yeah. Yeah, you feel like one more? more? Let's find a really, really good one. Alright, okay. Charlotte from Marshall asked me, how old were you when you wrote your first song? Alright, this is quite funny. I must have been about 9 or 10. And I wrote a song and I thought it was the most amazing song ever. And I sang it to my mom and I sang it to my dad. And they were like, yeah, it's really good. Now I look back on it and I think, terrible. My songwriting back then was terrible. So I hope that I have improved now. But yeah, that was when I wrote my first song. But it's not on the album or anything, so don't look out for it. <laughs> Done! Excellent, thank you. Thank you. Do you want me to say goodbye? If you want. Goodbye. <laughs> say bye to Romeo, too. Bye, Romeo! That was perfect.